Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Voice of the Rings, everyone. I'm your host and guide, Zolan Iron Shield. All right, guys. So I'm back at Esteldin. I talked to N Nelly, right, the leader of Trestle Bridge. And I'm back here. I'm going to turn in that runestone one where we traveled around and saw the rune, found all the runestones. So let's turn on this quest right now here. Talk to Is... Her crazy name is Estu... Estuian. I think it's it. Make your request with haste. Make your request with haste. But she's got a female sound. I can't. Mm, that's not right. Mm, she's got a really weird voice. Do it one more time. What do you want of me? What do you want of me? Really? You made the circ circuit of all five towns? I am impressed. I had not really expected you to make the attempt. We often assign novice rangers this task, as the beasts that l uh, lair in such places make such exploration dangerous indeed. But perhaps the rangers will be able to make the further use of your skills in the future. And she gave me a ring. Why, well, thank you. Is it a good ring? It is a rather strong ring. We're gonna replace it with that one. Give some more HP. Do, 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 do. The song is really loud. All right, there we go. All of the strength of the free peoples will be needed if we are to carry the day. Greetings. Greetings. It is good to see you again. My thanks for your help in the battle. Without you and your companions, I would have surely fallen, as would Trestle Bridge. His com our companions being all of us, you guys, in Voice of the Rings, obviously. It is also good to know that Nellie Boskins, Boskins will come to the council. She is a fine and strong woman, and I will welcome her and her people's presence in the conflict ahead. Awesome. Will you do something for me? Will you do something for me? While I await the arrival of those coming to the council, I must ask you finally, uh, f I must ask one final task of you. My chieftain, Aragon, must be told th of what has transpired here. I also, by the way, some people say Aragorn, some people say Aragon. I heard Billy Boyd say it the other day on The Onion, and he said Aragon to, again, so I'm sticking with Aragon for the name sake. Of course, I, I mean, you could sound it out Aragorn, but I also remember I watched I watched an interview of Tolkien, and he said Aragorn. He did. I heard him. So I'm going to stick with Aragorn. I also would seek his counsel, as the position I find myself in is unusual one. An, an unusual one. Aragorn has always been the one to lead, to organize, and inspire. If only the matter he was seeing to was not of much greater importance, then he would be here. That cannot be helped, though. By now, Aragon should have arrived at the refuge of Rivendell in the Trollshaws. It is a hard ride that awaits you, but must, but word must be taken to Aragon of these matters. Look for him in one of the guest rooms of Elrond's house. All right, we're being sent to Rivendell, you guys. We're going to see the elves. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go straight there. We're basically, I think, done with North Downs. I kind of wanted to quest to the in, in Evendim. I did a video, by the way, guys, on my playlist, Alotro Tour, which I tour part of this where we go to the King's Crossing and we see out over the lake and look at it from afar. I'll probably do other tour ones of more details of this area. I don't know if later we will be tasked with doing quests here with the main chapters. I, we might, so we'll find out. Um, I will do a teleport to Rivendell right now. In fact, I think I'll get us close to Rivendell and I will have you walk up with me into the valley because that's the cool part. So I will see you in a minute, my friends. Baruch. Kazad. All right, you guys, I've made it to Ostgruth, back where we were questing, like, I don't know, almost 10 episodes ago. Um, So I traveled basically all the way down from the North Downs, right? And then we, I actually had a fast travel map, so I traveled us here to Ostgruth. 
We could swift travel to Rivendell, but I think I'd like to actually go over the last bridge, go through the troll shaws, and let you guys see the hidden valley going up after the folds of Baruna, and see uh, go into Rivendell instead of just fast traveling into Rivendell. Because this, I still want you guys to see that in our main playlist, the traveling part. So let's go ahead. And I'm gonna get it going here. We're gonna start traveling. Um. So yeah, again, I'll have a tour. I still have a tour playlist where we'll see a lot of things. Like I'll actually show you stuff. We'll focus on just seeing things and traveling, and me pointing out different history and locations. But I still want to do that in part of part of this episode too. And again, I'm doing the teleport thing, right, with the our Pal Palantir Palantia teleport. But I still want to make sure that we see things as we go in this in this series because it's kind of cool and really i think this will only take about five minutes of our episode to see this and we'll talk about some cool things and i'll point out some areas as we go like i don't think we'll be able to see the trolls like bilbo's trolls they're actually in the troll shaws where you know where they gandalf turns them into stone right in the hobbit those are here there are quests around them but we're going straight to, there's a lot of quests in the troll shaws too, and different side quests. I don't know if we'll be sent there with the chapter quests. I want to kind of stick to our level of where we're at and the chapter quests. Right now, this chapter quest is level 30, and we're 34. So, like, we're doing really, we're ahead on our XP right now. So, we're really good to just keep following the chapter and the prologues. So, we're going to continue doing that for this series. Again, I know I say this every time. If you want to get see questing in a certain area, like the Troll Shaws, you need help finding certain quests or you know hang how to do certain quests in areas, I can make another playlist, have another episode about that with another character, or we could use this character and go back and do stuff if you guys want to in the future. Just let me know in the comments what you guys want to do with that. So it'd be fun. Anyway, so we're moving. We're almost out of the Lone Land, the Lone Lone Lands. Yes, there. As you can see, that is the Troll Shaws in the, in the there, and I'm gonna just do this like. Now control the, the head of the horse so we can look around while we're going through the troll shaws. Again, one last time, I'll show you the map one more time. We're about to cross over the bridge, last bridge. And when we cross over the last bridge, we will be in the troll shaws. We're now going to be in the troll shaws. There's a view that way, and over there. Now this is not the Ford of Baruna. See, there's some quests you can pick up right here from these elves. You can help them out in the troll shaws, but we're not gonna do those right now. We're gonna head on to our chapter quest. We are now in the Troll Shaws. Alright, you guys, we're traveling through. So as you can see, there's our horse. We're going to travel through the Troll Shaws right now. Up to Rivendell, the Hidden Valley. Giant's Valley? There's a reason that it's called Giant's Valley. Yes, you guys. There are giants in the Lord of the Rings. Like, human giants. A lot of people don't know that. Just saying. So another species. You get to meet a lot of other species in the Lord of the Rings online that are sentient, besides just human, elf. You know, normally there's just right human, elf, dwarf, and hobbit, right? That's what we think of when we read the Lord of the Rings. But there's the Earthkin, which we've met. There's uh, obviously the orcs, but even though they're kind of corrupted, well, I'll let you watch. Sorry, while I talk. Sorry, I have the map on. Enjoy the beauty of the game. I'm hoping that it is recording its its decent quality. It should be trying to record it at 2K, but sometimes I notice when I watch later it's a little blurry in times, just because I think my processor, my card is trying to record the video, my drive, at the speed of my graphics card is so much better in monitor that it's having to keep up with that record, like that, like as it puts data onto the video. Hey look, there's a buck. See the little deer? Alright you guys, and we're coming over this hill. So in this area back here to our left is where I think the trolls were, his trolls. We're not going to see it because there's the troll, the troll shaws are like up and down in valleys and trees and hills and it's crazy. The Baruna Gorges. So we're getting close to the, the ford of Baruna, which is where in the movie, or, does everyone remember what happened in the movie and in the story? It's where the ring race for chasing, I mean, technically in the book, I believe it was Glorfindel with Frodo, but in the movie it was Arwen with Frodo and then the the wave came and smashed him. 
And that was Elrond's power in the elves with the wave, but Gandalf was the one that put the horses into the wave in the story. He's like, that was my touch, as he said. I love the music, though. Isn't that awesome? Chance Thomas. All right, so quick little map. See where we are now? We're right there. We're going, here comes the Fort of Baruna. It's just so pretty. And again, we will we will do a tour playlist episode for the troll shots, and I'll show you really cool spots in it. So don't be like, oh, we're missing stuff. There's all this stuff on the sides you can go into. Don't worry about that. All right, guys, so now look at these cool mountain ranges. So this is the Fort of Baruna. This is where the ring race got doused with water. <laughs> Basically right, right in this spot, the Fort of Baruna. We're now entering the High Moor. See, we have to go up these mountains. There's mountains and trees everywhere. This place is so big, dude. It's so cool, this game. Anyway, look, there's a bear. He blends into his surroundings pretty good. Sorry, I'm trying to make you guys sick while I hold the camera. I'm actually have to control it because the horse is moving. That was a cool looking bug. There's another one. It's so hard to do. To control the horses moving and control the camera to... Hey, my horse is invisible. What the heck? Glitch. I am have the invisible horse. You can even see a shadow. Look at that. <laughs> Except we're not, not the sun, but... That's funny. Alright, I'm just going to let you guys enjoy for the next, like, two minutes without talking. There's the view into the troll shops behind us. We just came through. Huge area. Huge. There's so much to explore and do there. I just said I wasn't going to talk. Rivendell's coming up. We have to find the hidden pass into the valley. Now, according to the music timing, when we hit a certain point, the music should, I think, with the horse play this beautiful uptone right when we get there. I know this because I actually got to talk to the composer in person with an interview who did the music for this game. Um, they actually planned it. So it does a big opening of the Rivendell theme right when you get to the seeing of Rivendell. It should do that unless something glitches with the game. But I know I've mentioned that a lot. Chance Thomas is the composer of the music in this game. So good. Him and Howard Shore, the Lord of the Rings music they did is just amazing. I mean, listen to this music. Awesome. Alright, so we're looking for the hidden pass. I mean, the horse knows the way, but if we were looking for it, it'd be very hard to find. <gasps> Found it. There were some elf gods there, as you can see. The Gates of Amladris. So we're going to go down this little path here. We're going into the hidden valley like in the movie The Hobbit in the Lord of the Rings. Welcome everyone. Here it comes. <gasps> there it is, you guys. There is Rivendell and the timed music. There you is, you guys, the hidden valley of Rivendell. The last homely home house. That it's called. East of the sea, as they say. Look at that. Wow, isn't that cool? They got the waterfalls and like like huge misty mountains in the background. Troll shots are full of danger, friend. You'd be wise to stay on the road. Look at that. I actually believe we need to pop off our horse here because I think Aragon is in this house right here. 
and we will explore Rivendell a little, probably because of the chapter, so that'll be cool. The guest rooms. Anyway, Rivendell. The birds, it's awesome. It's awesome. All right, let's go in here. So Aragon is supposed to be in here. Guest rooms, December 24th. Oh. Hey, it's Legolas and Gimli. Hello, Legolas. The eyes of the enemy are everywhere. We must use caution. Ah, Baruch, Bar Baruch Zinba, Kick. Kirog Ziggle and Bundush Ashrun. What did he say? Bun. I gotta, I gotta catch that. Other people are talking, so I missed it. There are things to be done, but this, instead of doing them, we wait. Why do we wait? There are things to be done. Yes, I understand, Gimli. So we haven't, we don't have to talk to him yet. Oh look, it's Aragon. I have spoken deeply. I wonder what his voice... Let's hear what his voice actor sounds like, and then we'll figure out a voice for Aragon. I thank you for this news. I thank you for this news. Well, that sounds like the other rangers. Hmm. What do we want for Aragon's voice? Should it be more like Vigo, the actor? Hmm. Hmm. This is important for later. Let me hear one more time what theirs is. I thank you for this news. I thank you for this news. I think his voice will be something like that. Aragorn, son of Arathon. For this, we'll have a voice like that. Just a little bit, a little raspy, maybe, but very, m maybe, almost majestic still. Like, maybe like, you know, honorable sounding voice. Because he's the, the, uh, the king of the steward. Or not the steward, sorry. He is the, will take over the steward's position as king of Gondor. Oh, that I could be there to aid in those matters, but it would seem my fate lies to the south and not to the north. I will, I will compose a message for Halbrand and ask Master Elrond if one of his elves could carry it to a Estelden. You have my, you have done enough. You have my thanks. For now, take what ease you can here in Rivendell. Sweet. Dude, this music, though. Isn't that awesome? Welcome to Rivendell. Welcome to Rivendell. Yeah, that's pretty close to the actual actor, too. But I like that. Welcome to Rivendell. I like that voice. Welcome to Rivendell, where you will find the last homely house east of the sea. <laughs> that's what I said. Zolin. The road to the Imladris is not as forgiving as once it was, and I can... Com commend you for your efforts. I hope that the waters of the ford have calmed since our passage. We left them in turmoil. I feel, fear the course of these troubles is not yet concluded. Lord Elrond is the master of this house here. He should be given news of your arrival. You will find him in his library on the upper floor of the last homely house to the northeast. Sweet. A moment's decision. Momentous decision. Greetings. Greetings. I have borne this broken blade for many long years, Zolan. Always unused for these... All the shards of Narsil. Yes, Narsil. The sword wielded by Elendil of Westernness in the battle before the Black Gate of Mordor. The sword that broke beneath him in battle with Sauron upon the slopes of Orondrun. Orondrun. Though Gilgalad had fallen, then Elendil was slain, who still stood against the might of Sauron in the shadow of the f that fell tower. Ezildir, the son of the king, and Elrond, half-elven, herald of Gilgalad, with a final effort, Ezildor picked up the hilt of Narsil, of Na sh the hilt shard of Narsil and cut the one wi ring from his finger, and the power of the Dark Lord was broken. The light—I gotta make sure I always scroll down. 
the light of Narsil was extinguished, but its shards came again to the north, though Isildur, Isildur, Isildur himself never returned from the Gladen fields. The shards had been passed from father to son in his line for years beyond count. But the sword has never been remade. The old victories did not last Zolan, and the shadow has returned. We have need of Narsil's light once more. The blade must be reforged. Speak with Hamel. Dear, at the forges here in Rivendell, in the northwest corner of the Vale, and tell him of my decision. I would have him know that Narsil is to be remade. Cool, guys, we're getting into some cool. Oh, it's it's Boromir. Okay, remember, guys, the council. We have arrived the same time. That's why they're giving us dates in the chapter because Tolkien had so good dates in all the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit, right? So we have actual dates. So we've arrived. On the 28th. I think it's like a day before the council takes place. So that's kind of cool. I I don't know. We might actually join the council. Like in the background sitting there. Which is kind of cool. Because we're like in the council in the like lower right. Added in. It's kind of fun addition. Alright. Enjoy a little bit of Rivendell my friends. Look at this old bridge as a tree. It's so cool. The river going through the passage down here. Look at that. It's really cool. Dude, the music is epic. Sorry, a little freeze there. I'll stop sometimes and look, so my encoder records very clearly if it's blurring while I'm moving. There's a skirmish camp. I want to learn the horse place real quick. You can hear the rivers, the waterfalls. Look at, there's a bunny! Hello, oh, it's a rabbit. Hello, rabbit. Kind of the same thing. A little different. Wow. Look at that. Pretty cool. Dude, this game, it's just like, it's so grand. I like, look, just look up. There's like trees above us on the mountains, on the edges of the hills. It's just like, it's mind-boggling how much work and graphic design and everything went into this. And the music timing and just the storytelling. It's such a great freaking game. That's why I want to share it with everyone. That's why I started this channel. All right. <laughs> I'm learning the horse guy. What can I do for you? Just wanted to learn the horse place. Thank you, sir. All right. So now that we've learned that, let's talk to the forge master. And then for this episode, and then on the next episode, we'll go talk to Elrond for the beginning. Sound good? I think it sounds good to me. This is exciting, you guys. We're really getting through the story. This is so fun. I actually get excited, too, you guys. Like, I'm having fun doing this with you guys. Like, some people are like, you know, is he really, is he just putting it on that he's excited? No, I'm actually excited. I was putting it on, being like, really, really excited. But no, no, no. Like, this is so cool. Okay, so these are some of the elven forges. Remember in the movie where he's, like, having it remade, Elrond? But those elf for forges, they show that in the movie? This is where it, I think they did. They do it. It's a special forge. Only through the branding together shall we be free of the enemy. The forges of Imladris are among the finest that remain still in the world. Yes, that and the dwarf forges. <laughs> Mind you. That's why they usually work together, though. But the elves are very good at forging, too. Ooh, it's bright. I'm, like, getting blinded. Hail, friend, and well met. Hail, friend, and well met. Yeah, that's, that's a good voice. Hail, friend, and well met. He's got kind of a... very... fancy-sounding voice. Narsil is to be, to be reforged... My heart would be filled with joy at this news, friend, for Aragon and for all of Middle-earth. If it were possible, the shards were kept a while in the Mladris for safekeeping, and I often gazed upon them. It is with sadness that I must tell you that reforging the sword may not be possible. Its history is known to me long 
the end sto and storied as it is. But I will tell you only the portion that causes me to grieve. Let's hear it. Of old, elves of the house of Finor, Finorin. Oh, this I know this. This is yeah, Fia. Fianor, I think it's Fianor, right? Because it's the long E. House of Fio Fianor. Or is it Fjorn? No, it's Fianor, I think. House of Fianor crafted numerous wonders, items of great power and beauty. Among these were the Silithane. Oh, wait, the Silithar? The Silithar? Adamants possessed of. These words. Sorry, guys. Adamants possessed of the light of the stars. The dwarf smith Telchar used one of these stones in the creation of Narsil and Silithar. It was that caused the blade to glow with silver light when wielded in battle. All of the Silithar were lost during the long centuries since the forging of Narsil. Without such a stone to use in the forging, the sword will never achieve the greatness it once had. I am sorry. Bring this news to Aragon with my sorrow. What do you bet that one of our missions is to go and find one of those stones? Be pretty cool, right? Let's get excited, everyone. All right, we got another player here. So I think we'll just stay, end right here by the forges of Rivendell. And I will see you guys in the next episode of Voice of the Rings. And we'll go talk to Elrond. See you then.